Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily, and we are here to keep things simple and fun. Probably the biggest question we get of all time is how do I know what to charge and when to start charging for my photo sessions? Well, we are here to explain how that all goes. And make sure to stick around until the end because we have something helpful just for you. We promise by the end of the video today, you are gonna have a better handle on what to price your sessions and when to start charging and increasing those prices. And for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications of future videos. So one thing we wanna get across right away is that it is totally normal and it is okay that you're sitting there possibly doubting yourself, not sure if you should even start charging yet, not sure if you should charge too much because you're scared that maybe you're not worthy. We're here to tell you that we were in those same shoes. It took us a long time before we felt confident enough to even start charging anything at all. So we totally feel you. Now, before we dive too far into the pricing and what we recommend, we wanna tell you right now that we only now do free sessions for family and very close friends. So we just kind of make that a thing. So then when we have someone come to us and we're like, oh yeah, we really like you or whatever, that it's not, it's just an easy answer, yes or no. Here's our list of people who we do free sessions for, and that is it. So think about those closest family members and those few closest friends that you'll do photos for. Another piece of advice that we have done in the past is we've said, hey, we wanna get together with everyone on Saturday night, we're gonna take your family photos and then after we'll have a little grill out or something like that. So you can even get your three family friends done right away in that one night and you're done with it. So one helpful thing when you start doubting yourself and not sure if you're worthy enough to start charging is look in demand. So you might not have to get you might have to get some content in order to do this at the start. So you might have to reach out to people, ask if you can do a free session. A lot of people like free photos of themselves, especially high school kids, and get those images posted, keep posting them, repost them, post different poses, different outfits and look busy and look in demand. Make people feel like people are coming to you and then they're going to want to start coming to you too. And that's when you can start raising your prices little by little. So what we recommend for starting out, remember you're not probably going to be 100% happy with what you're having to charge. You want to make more money than you're going to charge, but you have to start somewhere. So what we recommend is that you start charging a little bit at a time. Maybe you start $50. Whatever you feel comfortable with, just start somewhere and start charging and feel confident in what you are doing. And then as you become more in demand and feel your images are getting better and feel more comfortable, that's when you can start increasing your prices. Now, when it comes to increasing your prices, you don't wanna increase every other week. We would say every few months, maybe you can start increasing, and then when you keep getting higher and higher, a yearly increase is probably your best bet because you don't want clients talking about how just last week they charged this and now they're charging this. Um, so being consistent for a while is important as well. Comment below and tell us what your biggest frustration is when it comes to charging or think about pricing in general with anything photography related. All right, so one thing that we really got stuck on hardcore right away is we did a lot of discounts and giveaways, which can be very inconsistent. So don't do too many giveaways and discounts. If you're constantly posting giveaway after giveaway and half off this, if you book by this, now that's okay to do every now and then, but when you start doing that, you're looking more desperate than you probably want to. So just lower your price possibly, and then again, you're gonna increase it little by little. So to be honest, when should you start charging? You're never gonna know when to start charging. You're probably, it's like, if you're anything like us, it was really hard to say we were confident enough to start charging. So you just have to start doing it. 
even if it's a tiny amount of money because you deserve to make the money because you're creating these beautiful images. Now, once you're kind of established and you kind of have things rolling and you become more in demand, in the end, you want to think about how much time are you at sessions? How much time are you editing? How much time are you doing all of the things? And how much do you want to make with your photography business? And then you can do kind of a work backwards. Here much, here's how much time I want to do. Here's how much I want to make. Here's how many sessions and what I would need to charge. So working your way backwards is really important. That is hard right off the bat, unless you have um, kind of a lower expectation for what you want to make. If you're just doing it as a side gig, that might be a good way to do it. You might have a little goal in mind that you want to meet for the year to get like a family trip money set aside or something like that. And working your way backwards is really a really good idea. And we just want to say when we first started out and we started charging $50, $100 for different sessions, our main goal was to save enough to buy our next lens or our next piece of equipment that we wanted. Then from there, we slowly got better and we started increasing our prices. So it's all going to be okay. You just have to dive in and start charging something. So we hope this was helpful and we hope we've kind of pushed you to the edge. So you are going to start charging or you feel comfortable with how you should maybe begin charging for your photography business. So if you are just starting a photography business, we have something special for you in the description below. It is a business checklist on everything that we feel is necessary when you are first starting your business. So make sure to take a look at that. And if you enjoyed this video today, make sure to like it subscribe and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. And if you don't already, make sure to follow us at esquared.photography and we will see you next time.